All right, and here is Stephen Ames, the uh, new victor or the returning champion of the Mitsubishi <laughs> Electric uh, Classic. Congratulations, and wow, like you're just rolling up these victories uh, since you got to be an old man out there. It's uh, pretty enjoyable, right? Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's been fun, that's for sure. There's no no complaints about that one. <laughs> uh, tell, tell us about the latest victory because uh, you, you started off on uh, on the first round not – bursting out of the gates but saturday and sunday were pretty impressive and uh, you finished it in style yeah um the, the first round was a bit up and down i mean it, it i came off of three weeks three weeks off of not doing very much golfing to be honest i actually we played like three or four rounds in the three weeks so and uh so coming here i was a little which we call i'd take the cobwebs off of it and uh i hit two bad shots that cost me two doubles and I three putted twice, so to shoot one under with all that in the middle of it, I think it was just the feed itself. Um, but like I said, I, I didn't feel that out of whack too much on the Friday. So when I went into the Saturday, it was exactly the same. I just didn't make the mistakes and show the 64 came out. And then the same for on Sunday. It was just kind of at the end there, the couple bogeys came in because, well, there was a bit of a gap. So I was like not trying to do as much as I should have been trying to do. Uh and the, and the putt on the last hole, I got to ask you, were you actually hoping to make that one? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was just trying to two-putt it. <laughs> it just happened to turn out the same way again, which is ironic because that's exactly how I finished last year when I defended, when I won then. So uh, I don't know what that was, but anyhow. <laughs> All right, let's. this is your second win of the year, and, and I think the stats of, in, the rec, in the reports is so to your, your sixth win and 29 starts or something like that. Yeah. I know you've been working a lot of with some different people and some new people, some returning people, but but just sort of walk through why you are able now and and at this age. And I don't mean to be old because I'm I'm actually older. So, but you know, know at, you 60, <laughs> at sixty, you're not really supposed to be ramping things up on the Champions Tour. You sort of get that ten years, but you're you're doing it. And, and how is that happening? Yeah, I guess um, yeah, I guess life and on the, in general, it's probably just a little bit more comfortable right now. Um, yeah, no offense to Kelly, but yes, she probably has a little bit to do with it. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, she didn't want to say it, but yes, she's saying it. <laughs> um, yeah, that, and then the fact that, you know, as we get older, we all tend to think that we should lay back a little bit, relax some more and stuff like that. And I've actually gone the other way and been very regimented with my working out, keeping myself fit, watching the alcohol take, eating properly, all that kind of stuff, jazz that I've been doing. It's just, uh, it's different. I mean, I did some of it when I was on the PGA Tour, but a lot of it, but I wouldn't say I did, I've done the same extent that I am doing right now. So uh, kudos to me, I guess. They look at it that way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the interesting things I heard you say was that you, you're working with Alan Fine again. I think you he's your sports psychologist and, and long-time yes. psychologist. And you went away from him for a little bit, I guess. Is that... And you're back. I did. I went away for like four or five years okay. um, when I was ending off my career on the PGA Tour. And then we started back out here and it was like my mind, I could feel my mind and hear my mind just going so many different places. And I was like, you know what? I think I need to get out of back in here. So I just gave him a, gave him a quick text, shoot, shot, shot it out to him. And then he was like, sure, let's do it again. Let's start all over. And then we went straight back to the old things that we used to do in the past. And uh, yeah, that's that's a big clarity all there for me right now when I'm playing. It's like I'm in such a very calm, comforting zone that it's like a bad shot in the past used to really bother me. Now it's like, well, this is golf. This is how it's going to be. You accept it and you move on, which is what I've done, learned to do very well right now. I mean, I, I remember talking to you in the heyday and you were saying he sort of just made everything a little bit simpler, right? Just a little easier, yeah. one sort of focus on your on your round and it obviously seems to be showing. And then you've got Shaheen Nakhivani helping you with your golf swing. Your golf swing's always looked perfect, but it certainly looks really good right now. <laughs> it is. Um, you know, he's he's made some some good, some, some very uh, different changes that I never expected when we first started. The main one was my left hand grip. So getting the club face in a better position at the top where it was the draw was not going to be, or the hook was not going to be my, my death one. And now it's, I'm able to move the golf ball more very, very tilts between left and right and right to left. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot more fun now because I can shape the shop at will, which is wonderful. And uh, I, like I said, I'm, I've actually added more distance again to the game. So that's even a bigger help in doing that. So it's like, Hey, this is, this is awesome. So 
Yeah, we're doing the same things, refining it. And I know there's still more room for improvement because you keep talking about it, uh, where we need to get to. And uh, yeah, that's the thrill part of it, I guess. And, and, and where does the putting improvement become? Because that's uh, certainly a <laughs> strong part of your game. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, that's a funny one, that one. I'm not Because I've always felt like it was good, but not. it was also a bit streaky more than anything else. And now it's become what we've done the most is the fact that we've tried to refine the setup make it consistent every time I walk into the ball, which is the same as the golf swing. So I've kind of taken a little bit of the golf swing part, put it into the putting, uh, made it a little bit more consistent where I walk into it and it's always going to be the same position. The hands are going to be in the same position. And then from there, it's just letting the field come out. So that's basically the only thing I've actually ever changed in the putting. What what do your peers on the uh, tour say about you? Like slow down, maybe? Uh, don't <laughs> uh, no, they're, no, they're, uh, they're not saying much, actually, to be honest. They're just saying, well, then, obviously. Uh, but at the stage, I think I think a lot of them are a bit shocked. You know, at 60, you're still going. So now they're all calling me uh, uh, Langer Ames, which is kind of funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> Bernard's still doing it at 65, here I am starting at 60. Um, uh, no, it's, uh, it's got obviously a lot of compliments, yes, for sure. And, and, and I mean, are you, uh, are you shocked, LL? Are you a little surprised, or are you sort of seeing the results of the, the, the hard work that you've been putting in? I'm seeing the results of the work that I'm putting in, you know, and uh, it's now it's like every week I come out to an event, a new event. I don't know what to expect, but the, the, end of, the end of the day or the beginning of the day for me, I knew I have a regimented thing that I like to stick to, and I've been mean, sticking on it. And that's always the problem there. As we get older, we get a little relaxed a little bit too much, and I kind of fall back into those where I'm at into those old habits. So right now it's pretty much stay on that process that I've been doing and I have been doing it very well. And that's, I think that's the result of more than anything else is it's the part that I'm more regimented in those respects, the working out and doing everything else. And I think if I continue doing that, more wins will come pop up, who knows? It, it sounds like Stephen Ames is having a lot of fun right now in his life. <laughs> Slightly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt uh, about that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, uh, congratulations. Happy birthday. And uh, Thank you. I'm sure we'll connect again uh, on the next one because it sounds like there's going to be a few more before the, uh, before the season is done. So congratulations. on well, the Thank you very much, Bob. Nice talking to you.